Thank you for joining us. I am Toge Eid, the director of the King's Fund in Cambridge, and my guest today is Professor Lynn Payne. We're here to talk about your new King's Fund project, Social Networks and Economics and Finance. What is your research question? My work concerns the broad research agenda of how social interactions among economic agents influence their decision-making process and contribute to economic activities. So as Aristotle famously noted, humans are, by nature, social animals. Investors in the financial market tend to discuss stocks with their social network friends, gossip about others' success or failures in invest investing. Company executives talk to their social network peers regarding corporate strategies and the latest innovative technologies. Financial analysts interact with firm managers and industry experts to collect information about the stocks they cover. However, how social interactions influence financial markets remains an open question. On the one hand, social interactions can help disseminate valuable information, allow better decision-making, and improve the efficiency of the markets. On the other hand, the interactions can propagate incorrect beliefs, amplify behavioral biases, which result in mispricing and investor welfare losses. So in a series of papers, together with excellent co-authors, uh, we ask a number of questions. How do social interactions affect the diffusion of information, investors trading of stocks, and securities prices? Do, uh, do social interactions affect capital allocation in crowdfunding markets? Do social interactions facilitate the spillover of innovation and the propagation of technical uh, technology shocks across firms? Do social interactions generate access of trading and amplify investors' attractions to what's called lottery type of stocks? What are you looking at that hasn't been addressed before? So the traditional models of financial markets have not modeled the effect of social networks, despite of its crucial importance. So for example, in classical models of information in asset markets, people do not directly learn from their social network peers. Instead, they make decisions in a social vacuum in which they only account for others' information deal indirectly through observing equilibrium prices or quantities. So my research joins the growing literature that challenges the traditional framework by documenting uh, the substantial influence of social interactions on the decisions of economic agents and firms. So to give you a couple examples of the, you know, the, the kind of novel data and the innovative research techniques uh, we're using, several of my papers use the newly available comprehensive and representative Facebook-based social connectedness data that captures social ties between geographic locations of investors or firms. So the data allows us to capture at a population scale, the extent the social networks facilitate the flow of ideas, transmit valuable information, as well as possibly biases and influence individual beliefs. Uh, in another paper, I uh, obtained the profile pictures of financial analysts from their LinkedIn pages. I then use facial recognition tools and machine learning techniques to extract people's first impressions of financial analysts. I show that the first impression influences the way in which analysts interact with information providers and in turn affect analysts' information acquisition and career outcomes. What wider social issues do your research address? Uh, my research provides uh, a couple of important insights on uh, several of the social issues. So for example, um, the uh, effect of social networks and social media on people's beliefs is a topic of crucial importance, especially in uh, our current times. Uh, the large scale online social networks allow for easy communication among individuals that transcend the frictions associated with factors such as geographic distance. But on the other hand, we've also witnessed some of the undesirable uh, consequences uh, due to the power of social networks. So my research provides insights into the way in which we can harvest the uh, power of social networks and at the same time, uh, mitigate some of the undesirable consequences. Now, the second is um, that we discover, for example, um, the possibility of stereotypes and gender biases 
in the context of uh, uh, financial analyst uh, labor market. So this uh, finding and the result has the potential to help design policies that alleviate such biases and provide a fair and efficient market. One of the objectives of the Keynes Fund is to strengthen the research space in Cambridge and help younger researchers establish themselves. How does your project do that? I'm really grateful for this opportunity that Keynes Fund provides. Uh, it allows me to further uh, expand and dive into some of the really interesting questions. So I was able to share the ideas, the innovative data and technology uh, with the students that I'm teaching in MPhil class in uh, financial economics. So some of the students are actually using uh, some of the databases that I introduced, as well as some of the ideas, uh, and incorporating that into their dissertation. And so and I was able to initiate some of the new projects with some junior faculty members in the faculty. Mm -hmm.